In the springtime, one lure has caught me way more big fish than the rest, and that is the good old faithful simple Texas rig. But there are a few key tips to understand when it comes to effectively fishing a Texas rig and especially catching giant bass on one. And there are two main soft plastics that are really worth your time to fish this springtime. My name's Tyler, and let's talk about it. Another giant, another giant. Look at that, y'all. I can't believe what I just caught. Yes! Well, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TRF. My goal here on this channel is to help you guys catch more fish and become better anglers. So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And dun da 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 the merch is back. Infinite Outdoors is a brand that I started about two years ago with the goal of starting awesome, deeper conversations in our life with the name Infinite having two meanings. One, there are infinite possibilities of making memories and having fun in the outdoors and what I do on YouTube, catching bass. And the second meaning is that I believe in a God who loves us infinitely, that he would send his one and only son to die on the cross for our sins so that we can come into a relationship with him and so that's what the merch is all about i've got afco yuri sun shirts i've got some brand new hats that just dropped hey g money give me your hat look at this thing we got a leather patch infinite outdoors if you're in need of a brand new hat or some awesome sun shirts or traditional sweatshirts i've got them all on infiniteoutdoors.com check it out i'll have it linked down in the video description so as the bass finish up the pre-spawn season that is the time where they are aggressive they are hungry they move into the spawn season where they are a whole lot less hungry and a whole lot less aggressive. And so quickly fishing the same exact lures you were throwing in the pre-spawn around those areas in the spawn is probably not gonna result in both the size of fish and the numbers of fish you want. And so you have to learn to throw slower, less intrusive lures. Because I'm telling you, I've seen in clear water, bass's demeanor completely changes in terms of the lures they want to eat and how aggressive they are from the pre-spawn to the spawn. And so the way that you take advantage of this situation, the secret trick to catching these fish is to throw some something not so loud and aggressive, and that is the light Texas rig. Now, if you're only gonna choose one weightless soft plastic, I would go with a weightless stick bait. This here is the six inch Strike King Ocho. I like it Texas rigged, as the topic of this video is, over wacky rig because Texas is a little more, you can fish it a little bit faster, but it's still kind of a finesse presentation. The second you wacky rig this thing, it is hard to cast in the wind, it is hard to be accurate with this, and it falls a whole lot slower. So I still catch plenty of fish in the spawn time of the year, the springtime, with a weightless Texas Rig Senko as I do a wacky rig. And the reason why I go weightless on this thing is because the six inch variety has enough salt in the soft plastic that it sinks relatively fast. I can actually fish it in like five feet of water or less. I don't have to add a bullet weight. Now the other soft plastic I throw a lot during this season is going to be a standard creature bait. My favorite being the Strike King Space Monkey. Now you can use whatever soft plastic creature bait you like, but I have found the Space Monkey is fantastic because it has huge rage appendages and it is relatively flat. So like a brush hog and a game hog are a little more round. Can you still drag them around in the springtime and catch fish? Absolutely, but I found this thing, especially when it comes to bass that are spawning, and you know they're spawning, but the water's too dirty. This thing is my favorite soft plastic for that scenario. But because it is flat and has all these appendages, it does not sink nearly as fast. So I do add uh, about a 16th or an eighth ounce bullet weight. Maybe I'll go to a quarter ounce, and most of the time it is eighth or 16 ounce. When this thing is weightless, I have this thing weighted. Now, when it comes to location for fishing a Texas rig in the springtime, again, I'm going super bare bones here, is that you want to find hard bottom. Now, on your body of water, hard bottom might be big old slate rock. It may be chunk rock. It may be the riprap on a bridge or on the dam, or it may just be a harder clay or a sand when everything else around it is mud. And if the body of water you're fishing has almost no hard bottom, it is just mud and silt, you can find hard structure. So uh, singular rocks, stumps, the collection of roots underneath stumps, lay down logs, fish will spawn on anything hard. And even if fish are not spawning, they still need to be around something hard. I'm not saying they have to be sitting directly on it, but fish in the springtime love to be around hard bottom because that's where the bluegill want to be, that's where the bait fish want to be, and the whole ecosystem goes from kind of everywhere around the lake and especially deeper water up to the shallow hard stuff to spawn and then back out for the summer. Now this area you see in front of me here is a fantastic area to throw a Texas rig in the spring because it is actually a hard bottom. Now you may look at this and think, Tyler, there's no way this is hard bottom. It looks like a, a shallow muddy creek going away from the main lake. And while it is a shallow creek, it's not muddy. It actually has a harder clay and a sand bottom and the fish move from the main lake back behind this marina here and they spawn up on these banks in and around the shallow grass. And a successful retrieve when it comes to the Texas rig consists of two main things, going low and going slow. What I mean by that is let's
letting your bait get all the way to the bottom. With a weightless soft plastic, it's slightly harder. I want to start fishing right away, but of course, just let yourself give the lure some time to get down to the bottom. That's the going low. And then you want to go slow. You want to drag this thing or hop it oh so slow because these fish, like I said, their demeanor changes. They don't want this thing swam back to them or hopped really vigorously. I'm telling you guys, based on over a decade of experience, the fish in all of our bodies of water as the springtime gets here need to eat a Texas rig when it's moving slow. And doing this has resulted in some of my favorite catches of all time on weightless soft plastics in the springtime. Let's check them out. There he is. Yes. Nah, he wouldn't eat the frog, but he'd eat the ocho. That's what I'm talking about right there. Boom, top of the mouth every time. This is one of my favorite hooks out there. I'll, I'll leave it linked below if it's available on Tackle Warehouse. It's just a it's just a wide gap hook, but it catches them, man. That's all you can ask for right there. Beautiful. Oh, I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Probably not as much as me, but you can if you apply these tips. Got him. Oh, that's a giant. That's a big giant. It. Finally got one. Finally got one. Finally got one. Get in the boat. Get in the boat, baby. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Who needs a net, baby? That's what you call a comeback right there. Oh, baby. Let's go. Now four. Oh, four. Oh, four, four, and, four and a half. <laughs> what we got? Let's go, baby. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh. Yep, yep. Dude, that's a fat fish. Holy cow, it's fat. Holy cow. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Look at that fish right there. Oh, and I would not have gotten that fish if I was not slowly dragging. Look, dude, look at the dimensions of that thing. Holy smokes. And you can tell that was on a bed. Her tail is all, all kinds of beat up. I guess the swim bait can be a one-two punch with the Senko too. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, let's stink and go. All these fish are stinking chunks. Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it. Biggin, 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 biggin. How big? I don't know, but it's really big. So that was the same fish you had hooked earlier. <laughs> well, maybe not that big, but it's pretty big. <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big Just, just play him, play him, play him good. Play him good. Play him good. Play him good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty big. That's, that is pretty big one. Giant. Holy cow. Oh. Oh well, my got the big one. <laughs> Give me some of that. Okay, I take back I take back everything I said about new brush being no good. If there's brush in the water and it's springtime, throw there. Gosh, dang it, man. Holy cow. These fish are different. My gosh. My gosh, they're different. I'm eating beef jerky and this fish kaplonks me. Oh gosh. What are these proportions I'm seeing? Oh my goodness, like genetically mutated. Wow. Two thumbs up for me. He did. Oh, I'll get him now. Probably ate your bait. There he is. Oh, oh, that is not the fish that I thought was there. That is not the fish that I thought oh was my. there. That you, you, is not the fish. Is giant. That's not the fish that I thought was there. This is a giant. Holy, dude, this might be another 10. I might have another 10. Oh. I may have another 10. Bring him up, bring him up here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Get him, get him. No Come way! On. No way! Got another 10! <laughs> oh my god! No freaking way! Get off the camera. Get off the camera right there. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> we did it, Grandpa! I don't think I don't think it's a 10. Uh, it's an eight or nine. Oh, that's a giant. That might go 10. Might be 10. Holy <gasps> crap. <laughs> Dude. Sorry that you lost that fish. Yeah, what? Hey. Nine or 10. I think it'll go nine. Yeah, nine probably. Uh, maybe high eight. I don't know. Oh, oh. What an insane afternoon. What an insane afternoon. Dude. No way. I just threw it over there to clear my spool. 
I wasn't even trying to catch one. Oh, it's a nice one too. Gee, wasn't even trying to catch one and I caught one. Gosh, these fish fight so hard, man. Holy cow. Every little stick up like this around some hard bottom has got him, man. I see you, big dog. I see you, beautiful, bodacious bass. Oh, I'm so pumped. This is fun. Gee. Pop it out just like that, and you got yourself another three and a half pounder. Oh, you got to fish in the spring, folks. You got to. Like, there's, there's no if ands or buts about it you're gonna take off more days get a babysitter or whatever fish more in the spring than you ever have go catch more gosh there he is i knew there'd be one there on the old texas rig chill chill buddy my gosh i knew it i knew that was one ah, i think he's big i think he's big he was playing with it for a while i knew it stinking was let's go Oh gosh, fail of a boat flip right there. Holy cow. My gosh, that's a six pounder right there on the Texas rig, corner of the mouth. Beautiful springtime Texas bass. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That 16th ounce tungsten weight really helped me maintain contact with the bottom and I could tell something was munching it down there and it was this beautiful girl. Let's go. Got him. Gosh. What do we got? What do we got? Another big one? A nice one. Nice one for sure. Oh, gee, I had trouble opening the button there. Beauty, let's go. That right there is where you want to see the Texas rig in the roof of the mouth, just like that. Thank you, friend. Biggins, I love it. I've got one. Oh gosh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a nice one. You know what, not huge, but biggest of the day for sure. Oh, it's been hours since I last got a bite. And that fish right there, folks, is exactly where you should be. Oh, that's awesome. Look at how thick that fish is, boys and girls. That's a Texas river fish. That's not like a deep water shad eating fish. That's a river fish. That's incredible. And again, that fish was right where it should be. Rock pile, brush pile, beautiful area. There's a fish. After I get an Instagram selfie and put this guy in the live well, or this girl, I don't know. She dang thick though. Oh. Gosh, my goodness gracious, what a fish. Holy cow. Wow. Oh, I felt the thunk. Set the hook and that fish goes running. That fish goes running. What an angry fish, man. And if I had fished any faster, I would have totally skipped over this fish. Absolutely stinking beautiful four pounder. Again, Texas rig, right where it should be. Roof of the mouth, right there. Give him a nice hook set and catch you a big. Gosh, dang. Holy cow, holy cow. My gosh, bring him up, yes. Oh. It's so stinking skinny. What the heck? That's like an eight pound head and like a five pound body. What the heck? Like 30%, 40%. Um. <laughs> my biggest, my biggest thing. Early going, I just, um, I think that we have to like pull out there and test it. If you guys are getting negative numbers back, Gosh! Holy cow! Oh my gosh, y'all! I got like I got like an eight pounder. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Oh my gosh! One sec. Oh, where's my net? No. Yes! Yes, baby! Let's take it go! Oh! 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 What a way to end the video. I was on a business phone call with Strike King and Luz as I hook this behemoth. Oh, my camera's about to die. Let's get a new battery. Oh, holy cow. That's a seven, I think. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got, it's probably eight. Yeah, <laughs>